Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Friday, December 11th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Uh, let's break down the trades. I'm gonna go over the trades we did today and then I'm gonna do a little recap for the week. So starting with today, had two Mighty 90 trades, booked $180, our Mighty 90 continues to do extremely well. I uh, took a little scratch, minus 10 in Lulu, and then plus 190 in Microsoft. Uh, no pairs trades today. Uh, runners did not treat us well. We took five runners, uh, only one winner. That was in Amazon for 260. Had a loser in Boeing for 186. Uh, Netflix minus 690, which I'll talk about. Piton minus 160, and Zoom minus 205. So let's break those down, starting with the mighty 90 uh, in Lulu. So uh, I did one other thing a little bit different in the live stream today. We were trading the options that expired today, so the zero days to expiration. Uh, a couple of reasons. One, I just wanted to I wanted to teach and kind of help show uh, our members how price sensitive they were. Um, and and Lulu was a, was a perfect example. I mean, we had this big flush down. Uh, I was looking to get long down here at this second pivot, and and we and we got filled right here. And just on this little bounce here, just from basically this pivot line bouncing up to this one, uh, we closed out half of our position. So. The closer you get to expiration, the more sensitive those price, those options are to the movement of the stock. And that can work for you against you, right? If it goes in your direction, you're going to make profits quicker. If it goes against you, you're going to lose quicker. So uh, it's it's really important to understand the pricing of options and, and how they work. And so that was, a, that was interesting. I, I probably won't do much of that anymore. They are just ultra, ultra sensitive to that price movement. So uh, I like I like a little bit less sensitivity. So. Uh, anyway, we we booked half and then it ended up coming down. It didn't give us any kind of a continuation higher. Kind of came down, so we closed out the the other half when it broke below here. So ended up taking basically a scratch on the trade. Uh, other mighty ninety was in Microsoft. So if we take a look at Microsoft, had this big push up uh, initially. Let me get this zoomed in for you. Zoomed out. Uh, had this big initial push. Uh, right here and we got short and just this again we were trading those short-term options just this little pullback here we we booked uh, the majority of our or about half of our position then it, when it bounced up we just got out of the rest still booked one a uh, 190 on the trade uh, so st uh, good trade in Microsoft on our runners uh, Amazon took a runner kind of later in the morning uh, when when it broke down here and started trading near the lows of the day on this little bounce here, we got short and caught this little runner to the downside. Just a little one, little one only did one contract, so just got out of the entire thing once it broke the lows of the day. Booked a nice 260. Uh, in Boeing, did a runner. This one was a this was a, a loser. Had this now this one was really frustrating. So Boeing had this big push up into positive territory above this above yesterday's close then came all the way back down when it started chopping around we took a little piece right here short and then we added to it as it approached unchanged for the day now here's what here's what happened is and this is just i mean this is part of trading but i really so once it started pushing into positive territory we just bailed right here and we literally bailed uh, right before this thing broke down. It would have been a beautiful trade. This did exactly what we wanted to do, but it just flushed us out first. And so we unfortunately did not get to participate in that. So that was that was a big difference between a, a really nice winner and a, uh, a, a small loser. So that happens, unfortunate, but that is what it is. Uh, Netflix, let's go to Netflix. This one was, well, what I can say on this is this was a this was a bad trade by me. Um, so Netflix, kind of a similar thing. It came up, tried to go positive on the day, came all the way back down. When it started chopping around right here, we got short, looking for a potential continuation. The market was starting to get weak. Uh, it did not happen. It pushed up, and so at that point, I, I made the decision. You know, I, I with the market the way it was trading and the different tech stocks. I really thought we were going to see some more downside in Netflix. So I ended up holding, we added one time. And when this thing, you know, I just, I, I made the decision as long as it stayed negative, I was going to hold on to this, but this thing just kept pushing, kept pushing. And finally we had to bail. This is not really the way I like to trade runners. I mean, you know, I should have cut either here. I only started with one contract and then I just added a couple 
and, and added a couple here. But what, and the reason, just to give you an idea, the, the logic or the reason that I stayed in it is we kept getting these volume spikes to the upside. Uh, we'd start to see a little bit of downside, so I thought we were going to start rolling over and then it'd rip back up. But regardless, these, the, the biggest thing on these, these runners is you've got to have that strict money management. And I did not do a good job here. Part of it was I just got in so small that I thought, I'm going to just give this more room. I really think we're going to um, you know, roll over. And that's just not the way to do it. I mean, you've just you've got to cut your losses short. You've got to have that predetermined level, which I did, uh, but I changed it after this initial push. And and so it's just not the way you want to do runners. I let something that should have been a small loss turn into my biggest loss of the day, and and ended up you know putting us in the red for the day. Uh, and so that is you know that's just trading. But and if I'm going to do that on my own, that's fine. But I, I really you know, that's not something that I'm, I'm going to do again. I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow it to get out of hand like that. That's just poor, poor money management. So hope, hopefully you learned from my lesson. This was one that we didn't take when we were live streaming. Uh, so hopefully not too many people even got in this trade with me, but, uh, you know, one of those things that hopefully you're learning from my mistakes as I'm talking about this and don't do that. You know, I know it's, it's hard. Sometimes your ego gets in the way, Sometimes you, you know, you, you see different things, like I said, that make you want to stay in the trade, like I was talking about the volume spikes, but you've got to just stick to that strict money management, especially on these runners. I mean, they, they can get out of hand. And before you know it, those losses can get big where I started super small, uh, you know, took a $690 loss, which is, you know, I take those sometimes it's not, it's not the size of the loss. It's the way that I manage the trade that I'm not happy about. So Took a loss there. Piton. Uh, Piton, we took a runner as well. So this is how you're supposed to manage it. So we had this big downward flush and then it bounced back up into positive territory, started chopping around right by the highs. And so this is where we got long. Uh, it broke down here and once it, once it looked like it was not gonna bounce, I gave it a chance to bounce a little bit, but once it failed, I cut my losses right there. And that's, and, and took a loss, right? We took a $160 loss. But that's okay, and you can take those all the time and still be massively profitable. What you can't do is what I did on Netflix <clears throat> uh, consistently and be profitable. So two little lessons there. Uh, and then Zoom, uh, pretty much the same thing. Came down and then pushed back up towards the highs of the day, started consolidating, uh, looking for a continuation higher. It did not. It came down. 